I think all of my other injuries, I pretty much know I was going to come back from um, the, the the stress fracture. And even the doctor said, like, he said, grade four is the worst they rated, but if they had to give it a higher one, they would. Um, and I remember I remember that day so vividly. I was I was still in Miami. All of my friends had gone home for um, for summer break. And I was I was living by myself at the time. And it was raining that day. And I remember, you know, going to the little hospital on campus and they're telling me all this stuff. And I remember having to go home by myself. I didn't have any friends around, they were all gone. Um, and it's horrible. And I, I called, uh, I think I called my dad. I was just bawling my eyes out on my living room floor because it was just like, I was, I had tried. So I think the hard thing is that sometimes the people who you see have the most success in track are sometimes horrible people. Yeah. And I think like, I, at least I try my best to be a pretty good person. So just to know that like, I sow good seeds, I work hard, I train hard and to have, you know, a doctor pretty much tell me that you have this pretty much career ending injury. It was just really hard news to take. And, um, and that first, that first period where it happened, it was raining outside. It was this, the sky was gloomy. It was, just, it was like literally one of the worst days I've experienced. Yeah. And I was just, I was, I had a moment where I was just telling my dad all of my frustrations. I was screaming. I was just letting it all out. But then I had to remind myself, I'm like, okay, this, this can do one of two things. I'm like, this can either take me out of the score completely, or I can start taking the steps to find my way back and so by the end of that conversation i was telling my dad like i'm not done yeah i was like i know this sounds like i know it's horrible and like i'm 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 scared and like this is a hard thing to deal with but i've got to find my way back i was like this is just like adversity comes and i'm like wouldn't this be like the greatest comeback story ever you know <laughs> to come back from all yeah. these injuries and stuff and then end up running well so that's just what i started doing so i just started orienting my mind around how do I get back? Where do I go from here? And like learning how to just take little pleasures out of each day. And cause like, I think sometimes, and one thing I've had to grow out of was letting my, like, like letting the sport define me mm -hmm. because it was such a big aspect of who I was and not just something that I do. Um, and so when I thought like, oh my gosh, I can't run, like who am I without the sport? And I was like, I'm so many other things. I'm, I'm Caleb, I'm, I'm kind, I'm, I'm funny, you know, I sing, I, I can, dance I you know there's so many other aspects that make up who I am and so I had to also start separating track from me that way that even in this recovery process that I wasn't getting frustrated that I wasn't back I wasn't back yeah. so I was able to just be like yeah I might not be back yet but I will be and in the meantime how am I going to enjoy life until I maybe get back to something I want to do exactly